What's up, pineapples? Welcome back. So today I have my August favorites, and I'm just gonna say right off the bat, August is my favorite month because it's my birthday month. So I have definitely been having a really good time during this month, and I wanted to make sure I got my August favorites on time because during this time, I feel like I might upload when I'm away on my birthday trip. Towards the end, my birthday is August 24th, but if not, we'll see. Okay, so let's get into my August favorites. So part of today's video is sponsored by Slim Chillers, and you guys know I absolutely love Slim Chillers. I've been... I, I was gonna say using the brand, but I've been consuming the brand for a couple years now. So they sent over a new product and I already tried it out more than once and twice and three times, but they came out with a Slim Shooter. Now this is a product that is not like the Slim Chiller, which is the popsicle, the frozen popsicle that you need to put in the freezer. This one you could just have chilled or on its own. I recommend chilled, it's much more enjoyable. This is perfect for like pool parties or just get togethers and you can also have it as a mixer. So let me show you the different ones. So this is a 30 count and it has strawberry cheesecake, salted caramel, pecan, peaches and cream, chocolate mint, oat milk cookie, banana cream. Oat milk cookie is my favorite. Um, oh, let me show you the fruit ones. And I am bringing these on my birthday trip as well. And it's also my wedding anniversary, so gotta celebrate. So I also have the fruit ones, and these are my favorite. I definitely consumed more of these. And I have raspberry lemonade, granny apple, that's my fave, coconut lime, a black and blue, and just grape. Grape is another one of my favorites. This is my last green apple, you guys. This is what it looks like. All you do is just chill it, put it over ice. I stuck it in our ice chest. We have like this little table we got. Also, I wanna say that these have 17.5% alcohol in them, so make sure you please enjoy responsibly. Also, what's really cool is you can add these into your cocktails. So say like you have, I don't know, like some sort of juice you wanna add into to it or something you just pour it in it's perfect what I want to try is taking one of the cream ones uh, like the caramel I don't know if I have any more caramel or oatmeal oh I have one oatmeal cookie I really want to try this in coffee doesn't that sound good because a lot of people put like liqueur in their coffee but I think this oatmeal cookie shooter would be so good and can you imagine in an iced coffee I think I'm onto something. Let me know if you guys have tried these out, but I was excited they came out with a new product. I'm excited to see what else they're gonna come out with because I do enjoy the brand. At my Target, I see the Slim Chiller ice pops all the time, but I'll make sure to leave a link down below so you can find them near you, but I know that they are located in quite a few stores. Okay, this next favorite is something very random. <laughs> very random. Okay, so as you know, I have Polynesian dance my whole entire life. Um, I've been going more to the gym, so I've been absolutely loving my gym. I've been so motivated. Now, I don't know about you, but do your feet just ever ache or they just feel just, just achy, you know? They just, they're like tired. They're tired from like heels or certain shoes or from the gym or lifting or balancing on toes, dancing, whatever you're doing, even your daily day-to-day -day activity and just walking. Well, I decided to go on Amazon and I just, I forgot what made me look this up. These came across and these are called yoga toes, I believe, and they're freshly washed. They're very easy to wash and you just put your toes, so your big toe goes in here and it spreads out your toes and it helps align them and stretch them out. Uh, it says to like kind of start off with a couple minutes because it might feel uncomfortable. For me, it does not. It honestly feels very relieving, almost like, you know, when you're, you feel sore, you're done working out and you like stretch out your arm, you're like, oh, that feels so good. That's what I feel like in my toes. So it may be really random, but I would totally try these out. I'll wear like a mask or when I'm like chilling watching TV over here and I have these on and my toes toes are spread out and I'm like, ah. I've been using these for over a month already and I love them. So I don't know, it's just like very therapeutic and there's a lot of benefits. If I have any more, I'll list them right here, but it's a really good product. And since your toes are spread, you might as well just paint your toes. I just realized that because they're like spread. So you're not gonna get any nail polish on your other toes. <laughs> But yeah, try them out. Yoga toes, so random. I got them off Amazon. You guys, I love Amazon, and I also have an Amazon video coming up where it's like my favorite kitchen gadgets and all of that, so look out for that as well. I had some dry shampoos that were like sent to me from different brands, and I said, let me try out this one from L'Oreal. I mean, I love the makeup, so let me try out some hair stuff. And it's the LV Dream Lengths Air Volume Dry Shampoo, no white residue. That's a lie, you still get some white residue, but it's because I'm spraying so close, so that's due to me. And it says oily roots and long lengths. I'm not sure the claim on that. 
It just says instant body, long lasting, clean feel without water, refreshes hair with no white residue, body with no soft hair. I don't know why it says, ref oh, it just says refresh your lengths. Okay, that's it. It just, I don't know why. It, it makes it seem like it's gonna help your split ends, right? But no, it's actually a really good one. What does this smell like? I can't remember. It reminds me of Batiste. I would definitely buy it on my own. I think it's a good one. I'm very picky on drugstore and affordable dry shampoos though because I feel like they definitely don't all work the same. I forgot what brand it was. I think it's the Dove one. Dove and there's another brand. I just keep spraying and it's almost like such a waste. <laughs> Sorry, I'm some of the dry shampoo. <laughs> okay, since we're on the topic of like oily roots, now in between washes, I'm like really trying to be careful with my hair because I did go lighter. I wanna make sure that my hair stays healthy. And thank you so much to all the love and all the compliments on my last video when I went to the salon. So go check that out. Uh, I showed you everything when I get there, what she does. She answers some of my questions. I She explains some of the process, etc. So go ahead and check that video out because I get questions on my hair like who does your hair or where do you go and all that all of that her Instagram is there in between washes I don't like to use shampoo all the time obviously it depends like if I went to the gym or if I dance or it's just like okay you've already had second day hair now it's time to wash it and it's a DP hue right DP hue and this is the apple cider vinegar rinse now that may seem like ugh, your hair is gonna stink you do smell the apple cider vinegar in it I'm not gonna lie but once you rinse it out your hair doesn't smell like that uh, plus I usually use like conditioner at the end but this what you do is you take the tip just the tip and you stick it here and you start dispersing the liquid into your hair and then you massage it and it takes away all the sweat and all the oils. It's almost like, it's a hair refresher. So it's like you wash your hair, but you didn't use shampoo and strip it. So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like I love this stuff. It's so good. And I was really kind of like iffy on using this because I'm one of those people where I was like, let me try to take my tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in the morning. It's so good for your digestive system and metabolism. You guys, I had a horror story. Like I literally threw up from the taste. So even to smell it, I'm like, <sighs> now I've gotten over it and I'm just like, just do work to my hair and we're good, okay? We're good. I have a womp. Oh my gosh, it ripped out like, I wanna say eight lashes in one night. Wow, I barely already have lashes and now this product yanked it out. Now what happened was, one night I was like removing my makeup with my Garnier Fructis Micellar Water, which I love for sensitive skin and sensitive eyes. So I'm removing my makeup and I'm like, oh man, my eyes are burning. And I'm thinking, did it expire that quick? I've been using it all these days. I've been using it for already probably like two plus weeks and I've been fine, probably three plus weeks and I've been fine. And my eyes got swollen and red and dry. And that day I was thinking, oh, it must've been because I was out. Maybe I, this is what I thought. I don't know if I sound stupid, okay? <laughs> but I thought, oh my gosh, did I sunburn my eyelids? <laughs> That's something I would say. And I was just thinking, why well, was out in the pool for way longer than usual? And I forgot to reapply my SPF and I took off my visor. So I was thinking maybe my skin, it just got irritated or something with maybe the SPF, the sun, sunburn. I don't know. I was going in that realm. So then the next day it happened again. And I'm like, well, it's not as bad as the night before. And then the third night it happened in a row. And I said, no, there's something that I've been using. I use this and get ready with me and it's the freaking Maybelline Sky High and I love the waterproof version way more than the original, but the original does not do this to me. It sucks because I do like the waterproof version more, but I'm definitely tossing this. I will never use it. I don't even wanna test it one more day just to like make sure because I stopped using it and what happened the next nights? Nothing, it was fine. So yeah, just crazy especially because I'm not really like allergic to a lot of things. So when I find something, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm allergic. Okay, so now I wanna talk about some of my favorite pieces of jewelry. I do wanna do like a separate jewelry kind of video because I get questions on certain pieces. You guys, my Tiffany bracelet broke. I was so sad. I was in the pool and I was with Ewok and his paw went to go swim and it ripped. Anyways, done with that story. But I wanted to shout out, Ma did I say shut out? Shout out. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Maui Mi Hawaii or Maui Mi Hawaii. 
and I'm obsessed with their pieces. It's where all my pearls are from and I'm obsessed. I was a customer for a while and it's be, I'm pretty 100% sure on this story that I saw them on my friend Maxine, one of my dance friends, and I went and clicked the tag and I went wild ever since then. But I wanted to tell you guys about it because I have a coupon code, you get 10% off I believe, and it's fine apple, which is really cool that she offered one. And so just some of my favorite pieces, like here's a bracelet. What you have to do is you kind of have to measure your wrist. She has everything online, but the pearls and the quality of the bracelets and everything are so nice. And here's one of my favorite necklaces. You guys have seen me wear this. This one's the sea urchin, I believe. But yeah, I have my pearls right here. I have all my jewelry from there, uh, a lot of my pearl jewelry. Uh, I will say she doesn't just only have pearls. She has some really cute accent rings, earrings, other things. It's not just only pearls. So if you guys wanna go check her out, highly recommend. I love her quality and just everything is very consistent where whenever I see like another pearl company or someone else tag it, like another dancer, I'm like, can't do it because I'm just like obsessed with her stuff and the quality is so good where I don't want to risk it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my favorite thing to make, which is my, my salad that I consider healthy, okay? I'm eating more salads, but let me live, okay? I'm doing good. Uh, the weight is dropping off slowly and in a healthy way. <laughs> so I've been obsessed with these from Target and these are the crispy chicken breast strips from Good and Gather. I'm a huge time fan of Chick-fil-A, but these taste so good where it like hits my Chick-fil-A craving. Uh, because if you go to Chick-fil-A, you already know you're gonna get those waffle fries. You're gonna get those waffle fries. <laughs> They're so damn good. Like, why are you so good? <laughs> you guys, <laughs> can I also make a confession? It's like midnight right now and I'm hungry. I ate early. I'm trying to like not eat so late and snack afterwards. Just drink water. Just say, you're not hungry. You're just thirsty. <laughs> I'm thirsty. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> you guys, so I'm a little kooky right now. Usually like my quick meal when he's like not here or I just need something like really quick or I just stick these in the air fryer. Sorry, I was like, and I think I have it at like the set like air fry mode, which is like 390 or something like that. I leave it in for about six minutes, I flip it, and then I leave it in for like another three or four. Uh, but I absolutely love these, these are so good. And I just make two of them, then I toss it over some greens, and let me show you my favorite dressing, which you can get at any, I'm pretty sure you can get it at I don't wanna say any, but most Asian markets. I personally get mine at Costco. They carry a lot of great Asian products and it's the QP roasted sesame dressing. This is not the one from the fridge and I'm gonna tell you right now, very honestly and open with you guys because that's what I like to do. I like to be honest and open. Glenn and I bought two bottles, so this is the first bottle. The second bottle is in the cupboard as well, which was next to this one and we have one in the fridge. We are addicted to this. QP roasted sesame dressing. What's really good is this can be also a marinade. We also dip our chicken kebabs that we'll barbecue. It's so good with veggies. Over here it has like a QP Mediterranean wrap. So, oh, it is so good. Like, let me know if you try it out, but it says for salads and so much more. For my last favorite are my new nail shape, you guys. So I've been doing coffin for forever or square. So then I did almond not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, and now I went to a little bit sharper of a tip and I'm obsessed with this shape. I don't know what it is, but it's really hard for me. Meow. <laughs> it's really hard for me to change my nail shape. I don't know about you, but it just feels like a major decision. It's just like, oh, why? Why is this such a major decision when it's like, it's just nails, you know, but you know when you're just like a creature of habit, like myself, that's totally me. These, oh my gosh, I fell in love with them. And then today I was like, can you kind of sharpen them up a little bit? And I was like, yes. So this is two coats of OPI's Bubble Bath, just like my go-to natural color, but absolutely love them. Oh my gosh, it's like my new favorite shape. I feel like they look really nice and like feminine. And I do like coffin still, but I feel like coffin is just like, sometimes it gets so clunky. Clonky, clunky, I don't know, like too much on my hands. So yeah, I think that these look so nice. I just like them. Just wanted to show you my new favorite nail shape because I haven't changed my nail shape in like years, which is just so silly. So 
new nail shape. All right guys, well that is it for today's August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you ahead of time for the happy birthdays and all of that and the happy anniversaries. I really appreciate it. I can't believe we're coming up four years, like four years of marriage. It honestly feels like we got married no, not last year, but maybe the year before. <laughs> okay, maybe it does feel like four years, damn. <laughs> but we're going strong, we're doing good, and I just, yeah, time flies by, that's what I mean. <laughs> All right, guys, well, I'm gonna get going. I love you, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Whoop, whoop.